from Steinkopf and Serons, Orange River region, Northern Cape of South Africa now. Very, very interesting material, very high luster, almost a yellowishness, very mild, smoky, lovely form. This guy's got the strangest form. It's a flat plate over here, so it may have grown against perhaps a larger quartz crystal as a crust. And then uh, on the background on some of these of this particular material, I, I sometimes find tiny epidote crystals. So chances are that we may have a little bit of epidote here, slight greenishness. Now from a display point of view, this is pretty accurate. Uh, the still picture, I struggled a bit to get this out. Uh, this particular, this material from Steinkopf is uh, uh, these lighter, uh, a fine, fine yellow going into smokies are not all that photogenic. Look at the intricate crystallization there as well. Let's look into the crystal. You'll see a smoky going almost into it. That's totally overexposed. There are things happening in there as well. So we may have some uh, epidote associated with some of these quartzes. Size-wise, we're looking at a palm-sized specimen, slight dusting. You have the barnacle formation of the quartz, slight dusting of quartz crystals. From a display point of view, I would lie it flat like this on a turntable, going around like that. This section, I think, is crystalline too. This section here would be crystalline. So I'd have it going across like this. Little bit of a scratch on that termination. Of course, for a stationary display, this is pretty appealing. Um, where did I have it like this? This is quite lovely. All the way from the Steinkopf deposits on the Orange River, South Africa.